Hey guys, it's Michaela doing a short video, even though I'm probably gonna be able to do going to be doing more editing, spending more time on the computer doing this rather than typing, but I hate typing, so I'm gonna make this. Uh, plus I need to practice if I'm gonna be trying to make a documentary when I'm in Peru, so I need to practice my video skills. Um, basically catching up, um, finished the uh, last quarter of school in June. Um, boyfriend graduated, a lot of my friends graduated, I'm still, you know, people keep asking me what am I doing and I have to explain to them what I'm doing and that I still have like a little less than two years of school left, although a year of that's abroad. Um, and just trying to figure out the best way to explain to people what it is I'm doing um, has been kind of a challenge the last couple months, but getting better at it and if you want to know you can ask me. Um, although this is what this blog is for, obviously. Uh, so, moving forward, I took like a couple weeks off, just chilling, just relaxing after school, and um, kind of starting to plan a little bit more for Peru. I finally got my disbursement uh, after a lot of trouble. Oh my god, don't even ask me about it. It was like crazy trying to get money disbursements and the other two girls are just like super frustrated, we're all frustrated, but we got the money, so there. Um, so got the money, bought my plane ticket about a month ago and bought it for October 5th because September was actually a little bit more spendy than I wanted. It's like 500 and up and I was hoping to get more of a ticket around 400 because it's only one way. So got a ticket at 406, so headed down to Peru. October 6th, even though it's a little, like a month later than what I wanted, but I'm not too sad about it. What's a month difference in 10 months? I mean, come on. It's not really a big difference. Alright. So then, right after I bought my ticket, I headed off to Oregon to go to a running camp. Uh, I was a counselor at a running camp with some awesome counselors. I did setup week. Got to hang out in the forest up over in the Steens in Oregon. And then the girls came in and I was a counselor for 10 of like 18 girls and we had such a fun time and just got really good shape because I wasn't running that much before then because I broke my pinky toe like a month before the running camp which I wouldn't suggest doing don't don't get your pinky toe stepped on a month before you go to running camp seriously not a good idea anyways it didn't hurt that bad made it through then I spent a week in Bend uh, hanging out with my family, hanging out with my dad, hanging out with my little brother, and then my boyfriend came down and we hung out and met, met up with Keegan, I uh, haven't seen her for a while, and then ran the USA Mountain Running Championships with the counselors uh, that were at setup week, so we like made little shirts and everything and uh, went and raced and uh, it was hard, definitely it was hard, but finished. Um, and so then when I got back, it was back to reality, back to planning, back to figuring out because it was like all of a sudden it was like reality check, like boom, you're leaving in like two months, Michaela. Two months. And I was like, ah! like feeling like choking and I was like having some anxiety over it, freaking out, I was supposed to meet up with the other girls and we didn't figure it out. So then I was like, my anxiety just went like up the roof. Um, but I was trying to figure out, most of the anxiety was about who I was going to live with when I got there. Or where I was going to stay, if I was going to stay at home stay, or just like find a hostel to live in for a while. Uh, I was seriously having some anxiety over that. So finally, uh, I decided to apply to this volunteer program because um, you teach English like three or four days a week for like four, four hours each day. Um, to little kids, being uh, helpful in the community, that kind of thing. And then they help provide Spanish lessons for you, which I wanted to do, but I didn't want to go into an immersive program and just like just be learning Spanish for a month because that's not why I'm going there. Um, so then, um, mind blank. <laughs> Anyway, so then they help, they, you get to do like surf lessons, which I want to learn how to surf, like why not? I'm going to be on the beach in one of the best surfing towns in Peru. Um, 
We go on mountain biking excursions, a lot of outdoorsy stuff. I want to be in that community as well. Um, but then hopefully it, it becomes a gateway to uh, finding more connections in the shoemaking industry there. Um, I've got connections to uh, Nisolo, the interns there, so you know they're setting me up with some um, people at the factory there and gonna set me up for um, some tours and meeting people and gonna go out into the community, that kind of thing. So I'm getting more connections, which is great. Really needed that. Um, anyways, so I sent this, my uh, resume to this company or to this volunteer program and within a day they like sent me an email back they're like yes we want you and we want you to uh, have a Skype date or a Skype interview with us on Monday so on Monday I'm gonna have a Skype interview and I'll let you guys know how it goes because I really hope I get it like it would be really awesome if I do get it I'll probably only do it for like two months just to get my feet in the water possibly a third month I'm not sure um, but I know I don't want to do the whole time because that's not why I'm going there. I'm not going to there, there to teach English, but it will be a helpful gateway to the things I want to get into. Um, so that, I mean, that just happened two days ago. Uh, or yesterday. That just happened yesterday. So that's the newest news that I have for you all. Um, I'm... Gotta buy my backpack. I'm getting the Osprey Farpoint. Uh, I'll probably do like a little review thing on, you know, why I bought that backpack and then what I'm gonna, you know, bring with me. Because I'm only gonna bring one backpack the whole time for 10 months. I did not want to be weighed down by luggage. You know, I'm gonna have all my living stuff, all my camera supply, like everything. Everything in just one backpack and a day back too, probably. A enlarged purse. <laughs> Um, anyway, so yeah, that's, that's what's, uh, going on, and, um, I'll try better at staying updated more now that everything is getting closer, and then definitely more updated while I'm there, obviously. Alright, see you guys!